Oh, test one, two. Good morning, Chargers and welcome to the Daphne News Network. I'm Jay Lane. And I'm Greg. And here's your morning news. First, let's stand and remain silent for our fallen Chargers followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy Trojan birthdays. Happy birthday, Trojans. Now let's see what we have for lunch. In both lines, we got chicken nuggets, waffles, potato rolls, cherry tomatoes, fruit, and juice. Now we have some school news to share. What is a potato? FCCLA is collecting coloring books and crayons for, ch for the children at the Lighthouse. Members will come by in first period to speak to your classes and collect items. NHS meeting Wednesday, December 8th before school at 725 in the library for yearbook pictures. Now for the sports. Trojan basketball is back in action this Thursday after school. And I'll put back parking with Hayes. Your dreams were your ticket out. Welcome back to that same old place that you... All right, Trojans, it's freezing out here. And I really don't want to even be doing this right now, but someone's got to do it, and that someone is me. All right? So, this is not Olivia. Olivia drives an F-250. And, um... That's one thing. And, and second of all, like, what is this parking job? All right, look, I get it, we're out here, but this is just disrespectful. And what? I just got word that the um, suspect has been identified as a Juju. Juju, what's this, man? All right? Back to the studio. And I smile when I think how it must have been. Thanks, Hayes. Those people don't need a license. Now for the wedding. Oh, it's wind, not landing, uh, with the weather, and it's currently 55 degrees with a high of 70 and a low of 52. Now back to the studio. I mean, just... On December 1st, 1955, Rosa Parks refused her seat to a white man and was jailed. And now for a fuck back that day. If you drive south from Detroit, you'll hit Canada. We out of here. Go. Alright, my name is Greg. This is Treasure. And the word of the day is chauffeur. How do you spell that? I was gonna say you go, I don't know. C H That's it? O M F E R. She got it. She got it. Is that how you spell it? I'm Stacy and I'm here with The Shaw. And the word of the day is chauffeur. 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 C H A U F F E R. You already started off wrong. You know, start off. All of the rats got good knees healing. Loaded with a rat. Hey y'all, I'm here with our SRO, Officer Kale and Officer Huffman, and they're going to talk to you about a new program in the Daphne Police Department. Well, good morning, Trojans. So, we have a program at the police department that I believe that the majority of y'all would be extremely interested in. I've seen y'all in the halls, and I can tell that y'all would love to do this program. So, Officer Huffman, who's actually one who's in charge of this program, is going to go in a little bit more detail about it. But at any point that you want to ask me in the halls or whatever about the program, uh, feel free to stop me. Alright guys, it is a program between the age of 14 to 21 and it's a career based program so if any interest in law enforcement, correction, dispatch, um, federal law enforcement, anything like that, we are going to be doing training about twice a month um, and then we'll be doing other special events together. Uh, if you're any interest, we're going to show a flyer and give you the information if you have any questions for it. And I would also like to say this training will include some um, getting to put on police gear and doing some tactical training on like build clearing. We get to play with some you know, sim rounds, which makes airsoft look like nothing. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun. So even if you're curious about it, just let us know.
Not far, you're smarter than a fifth grader. Hey guys, I'm here with Ozzy. How many people go to the ER each year because of Christmas decorations? Too many. Hey guys, I'm here with. How many people go to the ER because of Christmas decorations? Fifteen. Hey guys, I'm here with. And the question is, how many people go to the ER because of Christmas decorations in here? Thank you for tuning into the Daphne News Network. And now we're going to leave you with some of our previous announcements. Have, Have a terrific, terrific day, Trojans! Good morning. My uniform outfit was issued oh, to me from the Daphne Police Department to show extreme professionalism. So I challenge you, Coach Boyd. Is that it? What am I doing? <laughs> Keep going. Say where your outfit's from. And then, and then say that you My got better than you. Uh, I got Under Armour jacket, an Adidas shirt. I don't know what my jeans are. I got my boots. So you dress better? You dress better than Coach Boyd. Boy, oh yeah, I dress a lot better than Coach Boyd. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Daphne? It's Mr. Comer here and uh, the Trojan. And uh, I'm here to talk about, what am I talking about? Where your outfit's from. Where my outfit's from. Um, I got my shoes at uh, Belk's, I think. They're Nike. I got my pants at Belk's, 1999. It was a Thanksgiving Day sale. Seriously, seriously. Um, of course, I'm sporting the uh, Daphne soccer sweats. And um, I got a fur-lined hat because it's so cold all the time. But that's, that's what's up. So Coach Boyd dresses well. I mean, thrift store is pretty good shopping area, but uh, it's nothing close to this. <laughs> Brett Boyd, you ain't got nothing on nobody. <laughs>